greetings from another day with Jesus a daily word by Pastor Preeti from the heart of God as you receive the word prepare your ears and mind to receive him good morning and greetings in Jesus name what a blessed morning this is we are blessed to be in God's presence we are blessed to enjoy his nearness we are blessed to experience him up close and personal every time that we pray every time that we worship every time that we seek his presence we are so so blessed the lord is not far away from us the lord is very close at hand and yet as a diligent seeker of the lord you and i we need to learn the language of god we need to know how to impress god we need to know how to communicate with god we need to know how to bring a smile on the face of god see if you have a best friend and you don't know his or her taste buds if you don't know what they like or dislike then i really doubt if you guys are best friends the lord wants us to know what are the things that he delights in this is psalm 147 and verse 10 The Bible says that he takes no pleasure in the strength of a horse nor does he take pleasure in human might. I don't know what you're trying to impress God with. Is it your capabilities to earn money? Is it your physical strength, your physical capacity, your great beautiful family life or is it uh, your technological expertise? everything that you bring before god it is not going to bring pleasure to him it is not going to make him smile it is not going to make him happy we know the story of cain who brought the vegetables the fruits from his garden as an offering as a worship to god and god looked at him and all that god could see was cain's hard work this was not an offering that represented god's presence this was an offering that represented his hard labor and that was not bringing pleasure to god you can give that to god but that's not going to make him smile that is not going to make him happy church this morning i want you to understand this yes we can give him our strength our abilities our resources our finances but that is not what he is looking for what he is looking for is something even more deeper something even more further verse 11 the bible says no the lord's delight is in those who fear him those who put their hope in his unfailing love the lord's delight is not in your strength The Lord's delight is not in the strength of a horse. The Lord's delight is not in our abilities. No, his delight is in fact in those who fear him, who respect him, who revere him. Will you and I be counted among the ones that revere the presence of God? It says that the Lord's delight is on those who put their hope in his unfailing love. I want to ask you this morning where have you placed your hope is your hope in the fact that you have a medical insurance is your hope in the fact that you have a salary that you can bank on is your hope in the fact that you look beautiful and that you will get a bridegroom somehow or the other is your hope in the fact that your family is well known in your city and somehow the jobs will come looking for you the answers will come looking for you where have you placed your hope in now it's easier to place our hope in god when we have nothing but when we have everything when we have people's appreciation when we have people's love when we have people's support that is when it is harder it is more challenging to place our hope in the love of god in the grace of god in the provision of god in the power and the wisdom of god but the lord says if you will put your hope if you will put your trust 
in my unfailing love then i will delight in it i will take pleasure in it i will enjoy it that is what makes me smile i don't want to waste all my life trying to please god delight god with the most futile things just showing him all the phones and the ipads and the uh, money and my clothes and you know my shoes that's not going to bring pleasure to him the strength of the horse is not going to you know cause him to be happy the human wisdom and human might that is not going to put a smile on his face but i know that when i fear him every morning that i forget myself and i begin to respect him fear him respond to him read his word get into his presence and just worship him get lost in his presence when i fear him and when i put my hope in his unfailing love that that right there that encounter with his love with his favor over my life that is what he delights in that is what he takes pleasure in so let me invite you in this morning to enjoy the pleasure of god trust in his unfailing love put your hope in the right places and the lord is desiring to delight in you my dear friend let's pray together abba father we know that you take no pleasure in the strength of a horse nor do you take pleasure in human might but we do know that you take pleasure and delight in those who fear you make me a man make us a people that fear you that respect you that have put our hope and our trust in your unfailing love and help us to never forget that help us to never settle for anything less than that we love you we give you the praise in jesus name we pray amen we hope this word has divinely spoken into your spirit to join us for the revival dreamers conference that is happening in january 2022 you can register at dreamingrevival.com/2022 for further details and resources connect with us at pasprijee.com let his heavenly power lead your day ahead